A warning tonight for parents of teenagers. Officials with the Lancaster School District say they are seeing a disturbing trend. They've been confiscating vape pens containing THC. They also recently confiscated an item that looks like a sticker that contained hits of acid. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris explains how these drugs are being brought onto campuses and how leaders are working to stop it. Good evening. So the district says they're finding things that look like ordinary vapes, but the drug dogs are picking up on it. It's sad to see anything like this in our school system. Brian Vaughn, the director of safety and transportation for the Lancaster School District, says he wants parents to be on high alert after noticing an uptick of drugs being confiscated on school grounds. We're seeing vapes that have been infused with uh, THC which makes them basically the equivalent of, of marijuana. Vaughn says in a lot of their confiscations, they found marijuana cartridges appearing to be from out of state where marijuana is legalized that were brought into the area and sold. We actually had a confiscation in a school last week where we had about 30 of those cartridges that were taken off one individual. They've also confiscated what looks like gum or candy, but is actually wax infused with a high content of THC. What they're doing is they're taking uh, this wax and they're actually putting it in the fluid and it, and it, it vaporizes and then they're, they're getting, you know, that high from that as well. And it doesn't stop there. Vaughn says last week they confiscated something he hasn't seen in the school system in his entire 28 years with the district. Yeah, confiscated last week some uh, tattoo looking items that actually were hits of acid. Vaughn says they've made these busts thanks in part to canines who sniff the drugs out during routine checks. We're going into classrooms, we're checking book bags, we're checking uh, you know, lockers, we're checking vehicles. Vaughn says having a vape on campus could result in a suspension, but drug possession could get students expelled. I mean, it's not a situation where we want to say, hey, we got you. I mean, we really, truly want to keep these out of school and we want to really, truly help our kids. The district says they won't be releasing specific school information since this does involve minors. They just want parents to be on the lookout to protect their kids. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.